everybody. This is Candy Girl with a new hairdo. And I will get more into um, this uh, little hairdo thingy I got going on. Anyway, so, um, yes, and I'm rocking my Barbie shirt. So, um, I got a little review on these Betty Crocker Limited Edition Cranberry White Chip um, Cookies from the Dollar Tree. These are freaking excellent. I bought this on, I think, my last... Dollar Tree trip and I bought two packs because I just had a feeling that these cookies were freaking good as hell and they were and of course my cookies does not look anything like this but they sure as hell taste good and before I continue on I'm showing you this new uh, drink that I got from my Rite Aid it's called Howl's New York Seltzer Water coffee flavor seltzer water limited edition now I'm not a coffee person at least I don't drink hot coffee but I do drink my cold coffee, and this is kind of like, I don't know, it's just good. So, I saw that, had to get it, and I'm eating my um, uh, Dollar Tree Swanson Chicken a la King soup, which is good. So, I wasn't really feeling too well because I had, a, I got kind of sick last night, like around 6 o'clock last night, and I was in the hospital all night. It's just, it's a long story. I'll get more into what's going on with me with my health issue stuff um something pretty major not life-threatening but it's pretty major so i was in the hospital all right and I'm, I'm sort of okay now but not really i'm just really out of it i don't have much of an appetite to eat anything healthy but i'm on antibiotics now so i gotta eat something and the antibiotics make me nauseous so i'm eating some that soup and some seltzer i i can't even drink soda because it's just like no appetite for it but anyway, I made these cookies like two nights ago, and I don't really think I'm going to really want them tonight. But anyway, these are the Cranberry White Chip Cookie Mix cookies from Dollar Tree. These are freaking excellent. And all you need is a, a third of a cup of softened butter or margarine and one egg, not even milk. So no, mine did not look like this, but these are what mine look like. Okay, let me show you that. They don't fall. These are what my cookies look I'm trying to hold them on the plate. So this is what mine look like. Now this is the second pack. I made the first pack was trial and error. I kind of overcooked them and they weren't chewy. They were a little burnt. <laughs> so um, yeah, they didn't come out so great. So the second batch, I make sure that I have a habit of if it feels a little too soft, I kind of leave it in there too long. But you don't have to. Just because they feel soft doesn't mean that... Um, you have to leave it in as long. I think it's, how long is this? Uh, for large cookies, 10 to 12 minutes. And these are large. Uh, even though they feel, feel soft when they're in there, take them out because they will continue to cook on their own and they'll be the right texture. So these are a little crunchier now because they've been sitting out for a whole day. I didn't eat any yesterday because like I said, I was sick, very sick all day yesterday and I was in the hospital. So hopefully they're still good today. I'm really not in the mood to try it right now, but they're really good. The cranberries, uh, there's a good amount of cranberries, which I actually do really like the cranberries. They're nice and uh, chewy. Uh, the white chocolate chips are, well, they're not that many. They're pretty, they're pretty good. They're not overly sweet. They're just right, and they're excellent. Go really good with a cup of cold milk. So there's the cookies there. And let me just, I actually do want to try like a little bit right now to see how they are if they're sitting out like all day so okay they still a little have a little chewiness to it and they've been sitting out so they're good maybe i'll just if i put it in the fridge actually you know i'm just really not in the mood for any sweets right now the soup the seltzer that's it but they're still good if i if dollar tree still has this when i go next week i'm gonna pick up some more and bake them when i'm when I'm ready so go out and get yourself a couple of bags of these if you find them because they're really freaking excellent and I think I saw them I think 45 and fab actually might have gotten these first I believe and when I saw that I was like okay I hope I find it and I found it so yeah so let me finish that so that's it for this little short little video just wanted to show my review and give you my little take on these cookies yeah, I had over, I softened the butter. I left the butter out to soften, but they melt. Actually, no, I didn't. They don't, they weren't, it wasn't melting fast enough. 
I microwaved it and it oh I kind of over melted it you really just want soft butter not melted butter I don't know why but that's what the recipe calls for and um, so I they did seem a little greasy the dough because of the all the butter I put in it but they came out right they're nice and dry they're not oily or anything now like I said they're pretty good like I said they don't look like this but they still taste good and this is how you want the bottom to look so don't let it stay in there too long just because you you touch the cookie inside if you do that and you notice that oh it's still kind of raw on the inside don't let it go past the 10 11 minutes you don't want to do that like I said take it out of the oven you're supposed to let it rest about a minute or two or whatever rack I had it on um, my little Dollar Tree cookie rack whatever to let it finish cooling off because you need some air underneath to let it cool off let it cool off put it on your plate or whatever and there you go so don't overcook them because they're not good if they're too crunchy. Unless you like crunchy cookies, and I don't really like crunchy cookies. I like them to have a little crunch and a little chewiness. So, and these are perfect. Like the cranberries are a really nice touch. I bet you these can be made even if you didn't have the cranberry mix. I bet you like you know just get any kind of sugar cookie mix, a like plain sugar cookie mix. Add some cranberries to it, or even raisins, chocolate chips, whatever it is. Me, I'm not really into chocolate chips. White chocolate is the way to go so this is awesome so you could definitely spice it up any kind of way you want to make your own if you don't find the, the cranberry white chocolate chip get some sugar cookie mix buy some uh, dry cranberries raisins whatever your white chocolate chip and there you go all right everybody thank you for watching and uh, got some more videos coming up I am a pretty busy girl so yeah I got some pretty um, cool videos coming up, some friend mail and stuff like that. Alright everybody, take care and stay sweet. Bye!